Teddy! I love Teddy. Well. If you have never played, if you played Persona 5, it's a lovely game. I love Morgan. It's super fun. What a lovely adventure. But Persona 4 is better. If Persona 4 is my favorite one. Persona 4 is my favorite one. I just, I must stress this. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, if you played 5 and you liked it, you will absolutely love 4. It'll blow, it'll blow all of your butts right off. New functions? I would love to know more. The Vox Populi feature allows you to see what decisions have been made on the show Critical Role. No, is that not the same thing? Oh well. Arnold Palmer says it is. The rescue request function allows other players to help you. These features are not available at the very beginning of the game. They'll be unlocked. Ooh. Normal, please. Well, relax and have fun with the game. This game is a work of fiction. You'll never be as cool as anyone in this game. That's true, that's true. I can't wait for people who have never played this game to see this. Just enjoy. Just sit back, get ready for fun. We have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. But we still take the road and abide by laws. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? Enter your last name. Yeah, we good, we good, we good, we good. Don't get to enter another last name. Cox one. Yep, Cox. Is it like, sorry bro, Cox, unacceptable. Cox, maybe. Just wanna end, just wanna hit end. To your first name. Gotcha. Forgot about that nonsense. Jesse. 
famed hero, Jesse Cox. Proceed? Ah, uh, hell yes. Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future. This should be fine, and not at all scarring. Do you believe in fortune telling? Oh, hell yes, big fan. Will that help me, do you think? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? I have three separate drinks on my desk, so I'm living a wild card life. I've had two drinks on my desk for 10 hours. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. Right. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. I am drinking a Monster Energy drink, and it's 10.54 uh, p.m., so he's not wrong. The card indicating the future beyond that is... Gassy. Was that the lobster? The moon in the upright position. In the upright lobster position. Right, right, right. This card represents hesitation mm -hmm. and mystery. Right, because you're probably wondering... Very will, interesting. Will Jesse indeed. drink the water? Will he drink this tea that he just got? Or will he finish this monster that's been on his desk for 10 hours? Who knows? Who knows? I'm hesitant about making any choice here. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort. After which, you will return here. Ooh, a contract of some sort. The coming year is a turning point in you your destiny. You know what? It's about damn time. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. It's about damn time. In a minute, I'm going to need a mystery that goes unsolved. In my future, maybe lost forever. My duty is to provide I assistance to our guests. I just want to hang out with you, Lizzo. Let's get drunk that together. That does not happen. Ah. I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. <laughs> you are so polite, though. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Hi, Maggies. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. There were like 12 cards you pulled. I only got three. Got ripped off on that tarot card reading. Best game ever made. It's Forza. Por Porn Sona 4. Is that what I was just said? That's what I just said. I'm it's the best diet, game so in the world. To the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Yo, is this made for me? With the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy is targeting me specifically? I'm sure <laughs> is yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? I don't know. Sounded like, uh, what is her name? Well, I'm sure that you all Wendy know Lee? already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. Thank God they did this in English, or else Jesse Cox would be confused. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. 
Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss should Maya we Rino. go soon? Yeah, it's just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... What could it all mean? That sounds like me trying to pronounce anything Japanese. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Hey, over here. Hello, man. Huh? What? Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. That's damn right. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know nothing else. It's been a long time. I'll say, you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. Shout out to my cousin. He's a full-ass grown adult. And I still remember when he, when, when he used to pee to bed. That's how old I am now. He... That's I'm I'm dust. I'm dust. I'm basically you might as well just throw me in the grave at this point. That kid is an adult. Like a full ass grown man. Throw me out back. Just put me in a bag, dump me in the river. I got nothing. I got no money. I got I got no good years left. This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I forgot about the embarrassed red what are you glow. you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> she loves to attack me. Well then, let's get going. My car is over there. Hey. I'm unfriendly. Oh, but you dropped this. You did drop this. Thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's a note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. Do you think she knows she's wearing a necktie and a lock and key? She has like a Charlian fashion going on here. She's too cool. She's too cool and hip for this What's world. What's wrong? Nothing. Manic Pixie Dream Girl. I just had to talk to her real quick. You got in the car and headed for Dojima's house. Guy on a bicycle and girls talking about things. A gas station near in Inaba Central Shopping District. Hi, welcome to Mall. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh huh. It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. What if you're left-handed? Is that a rule? Are you taking a trip? Are you always right-hand chopsticks? Is that true? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. Not allowed to be left-handed? Get out of town. That's a lie. That's a lie. How dare you? Your hands chopped off? I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a minute. 
No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Dude. Are you in high school? Who me, Jesse Doesn't Cox? surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here. There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. <laughs> like, uh, the plot of the game or something. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Approach me very quickly. Oh, I should get back yeah, to work. Yeah, you didn't fill up the gas. Nanako is looking at you. Uh-oh. I'm having problems, Nanako. Are you okay? No, not. Did you get car sick? No. You don't look too good. That's true. Could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Now that he mentions it, you aren't okay at all. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Hell yes. I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. The music in these games has no right to be as good as it is. I absolutely love it. Also, meow, meow. Check. This is the bookstore. It's fairly empty inside. Ouch. This is a save point. A magical, beautiful save point. I don't want to talk to you yet. This is an old lady. Check. You have something to do with this shopping dis- Something to do in this shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day. But we only see regulars nowadays. If only Junes hadn't come to town. Junes? It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Fierce looking man is single mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You decide not to enter. What are you pounding on, my man? The Marukio Tofu Shop. An old woman is tending the store. This side of the street? Nothing. It's like the Last Supper. Everything's on one side, and this side is the fourth wall, which we do not break. Ever. the same thing yeah yeah okay excuse me fellow teens hey do you know where my snack went i had it in the fridge but it's gone oh i ate it just now i thought it was leftovers what no it wasn't leftovers i was making sure to save it for later oh really sorry about that well i'm going to work see ya what i was really looking forward to eating it they seem to be having a sibling dispute you should leave them be. A variety of products lines the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. What about this guy? Hmm, I like this shop. It's very nice. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Check. Alright, don't go that way. Can I check this? probably going to be the... Oh, beverage machine. All right. They're all sold out because we're in the countryside. It's a mailbox. And I can't check any of this, huh? Okay. Oh, hey, what's up? Hmm, have we met before? 
Station. Oh, that one time? Nothing. I just went. I don't have anywhere to go. The girl falls silent. I save one more time. Damn, the next bus isn't gonna come for a while. And if you miss one bus, you're pretty screwed. If only I had a motorbike. I could go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. And I wonder how much they cost. Maybe I'll be able to buy one myself. Check. The gym is waiting for you. Don't get too crazy. The bus stop. You don't need a bus. You got a man paying for gas. I can't go in there yet. All right. Are you feeling? How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? All right, let's hit the road then. During events, press backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip the event entirely. For the next year, this place will be your home. One wild and crazy year where nothing could possibly go wrong. All right, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Did you buy this sushi at the gas station? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Do you think Japanese gas station sushi is better than American gas station sushi? I'm assuming yes. I'm assuming yes. Tried it and no. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Tried it and no. I'll take tried it and no. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. That's me? Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. So, where is it? Now everyone's saying gas station sushi is actually very good. Uh, all right, I'm on my way. Japanese 7-Elevens, Family Mart, Lawson's are legit, not gonna lie. I need to, see, this is why I need to go to Japan. Mostly so I can lead my Persona 5 life in, in Tokyo. Just like hit all the spots. The entire time in the background, but up Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Poor kid is an adult. Leave her alone. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. She's she's an adult. She's over here. All right. Well, doing I'm work, off. raising herself. Why you let her be like that? Room. For this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. You find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. <laughs> what does your dad do? This is rough. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like... 
crime scenes. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. Dude, still shacking up with beautiful woman. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. If anything, the reporter's the problem, right? Because, like, if he was just having an alleged relationship with, like, Joanne, who worked at the gas station, fine. But reporter, that can lead, that's, like, multiple levels of problem. You know what I mean? That's, like, a, 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 a council member and a, a reporter together? That's just, that's, that leads to trouble. That leads to trouble. His wife, Enka ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. And be single, looking to mingle. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. And will have no plot relevance whatsoever. At Juness, every day is Juness customer is appreciation how it's pronounced. day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat? Sorry, I was just following along with the plot save your game i know look i'm not saying i'm not saying the affair is good what i'm saying is it's made worse by the fact that it's a reporter and a politician because then there's like well, what happened when they were smooching around what stories got covered what stories didn't get covered what access was granted what, what you know what i'm saying it's a little more. It's a little more. Check. Because it's, it isn't used very often. The kitchen is organized. There are ingredients in the refrigerator. You might be able to make lunch. Fridge. You open the fridge. There's some fried rice. Eat it. Eat it. Yummers. It has no taste at all. Strange. You said, gin you know what? It was sushi. And it was sushi from the gas station. It was all right. Oh, um. Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. What you watching? Is this one of the crazy game shows? A quiz show is on TV. A quiz show is on. I wish we could see that. Check. All right. <laughs> this is the room you're borrowing from jo Dojima. Yeah, yeah, this is my room, all right. You're tired from the long trip. You should rest. But I want to check out the TV. All right, futon. I want to check out the TV. Go to sleep? Sure. <coughs> You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Nothing. No, this isn't going to be... Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, Persona 3 is good, but Persona 4, man, I think it's my favorite one. 5 is fun, but 5 has a good waifu, too. But, uh, 4? <sighs> this is a solid game. This is an incredible game. This is... The area is covered in a thick fog. All you can do right now is exclamation point Persona. Or click below to find out more.
But for real, this one, oh my god, I forgot about this. This one, Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable are out. I even talked about it in 5 Minute Gaming News. And uh, hey, then they reached out and were like, yo, do you want to play? And I was like, hell yes! Look, big fan. Big fan. This should be totally fine. Yeah, they're on all modern consoles and you can get them on uh, PC now. Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. I don't seek nothing, I seek bed. I seek going to bed, getting eight hours of sleep. I have school tomorrow. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. You sent someone ahead. Will you continue? Yes. I've never clicked no there. What if I'm just like, nah, I'm over it. Unsolved mysteries. So, you are the one pursuing me. Mmm, try all you like. I mean, I guess I'll guard for the time being. Mm, it seems that you can see a little despite the fog. No, what if I continue to guard? I see indeed. This is very interesting information. Guarding again. But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be ever even harder. Guard again! Everyone sees what they want to. And the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm, I look forward to it. You are losing consciousness. I didn't need to attack. I want to start. I don't know that person. I don't know them. Plus, it's a rainy day. I got to get my ass up. Go to school. You hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready. It's almost time to get up. Now I have to be raised by my child mother. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Yo, we got sausage and eggs? This is why I likes you. This is, lady, this is why I likes you. You're a good egg. You're a good egg, king. You probably should go. Shouldn't you be at school? Okay. Let's eat. Do you do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Girl, you are already better than every other child who ever lived. Those kids, assholes. All they do is eat and complain. You're over here making me toast and eggs and so You don't even have to do that. You don't even have to do that. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're buying dinner too? Oh my lord. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Okay. Nanako seems somewhat restless. We decide to head to school with Nanako. Okay. Yeah, she's like a child. She's like a, a like a, like a baby child. School zone. Samegawa floodplain. You keep going straight from here. I go to the floodplains. Bye. My school's the floodplain. Bye. She like jumps in the water and disappears. School zone, intersection in front of the school. Whoa! He's the goofball. Hit yourself on the nuts, dude, I've been there. You should leave it be. Okay. 
Walk away. You arrived at the main gates of Yasogami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Whose voice is, whose voice is that? Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. My balls. My balls. What's with him? Who knows? Students? All right, shut your traps. This kill, uh, this, 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 this kid is cooler. This cool? This cool is cooler than you! Yep. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. And this cool is cooler than you! First things first, just cause it's spring, doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons! No one, no one was doing that, sir. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. I don't think this guy has played Persona 4 before. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. I'm starting to think this guy has problems. You call me a loser? Nice to meet you. I'm I'm too cool for this dude. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? Oh, I knew you'd notice. I now listen purpose. up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. I forgot about this. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here. Let alone abusing them. Dude, it's my first day at school. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Hey, Octo, I'm over on my place. Check me out on my place. Myplace.com slash Octofan. 69. Bro, can I be your top eight on my place? You already were. You already were. You're my number one. You and uh, Bob, who's like Tom, but cooler. Mr. Moruka goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Girl? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. Now don't go trying to bang any of these girls. So hurry up and sit down already. But in a non-sexual way. I don't want any relationships forming in this game. None whatsoever. He's the worst, huh? I know. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. It's a long ass time. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. A, A, Ron! Is there an A, A, Ron? Your life at this new school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? 
I sure hope so, or else this is going to be a really long game. After school. Balake? Balake? That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> he just yelled at us. Attention, all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. I wonder what this could be about. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Uh oh Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. <laughs> this is what we get for going to school in Silent Hill. Yeah, Plot twist. Like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Ever since that damn coal mine, that fire started, the entire city's been foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, huh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? H hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Why is a Realm Reborn Alphano here? Oh, Good sheesh. question. How much longer is this going to take? Great question. There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. It helps me get to sleep. Does that help? I love a good rain sound. Actually, the sound of rain in a car, that's my ASMR. I'm not a big ASMR person, but if you put rain in a car, I'm asleep. I'm knocked out. I'm done. You could, you could, you, I, I just can't. It's, I'm done. Don't let me drive when it's rainy. I'm already like, mm. Aw, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. Shit is certainly not going down. Everything is fine. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Uh, everything's fine here. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. I didn't know this took place in America. I thought this was Japan. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. That was an indictment of the modern day education system here in the United States. And gun reform. <laughs> what you tuned in for while watching Persona 4 Golden. I repeat. Incident? It's sad because it's true. What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, who's that? Are you going who's that? by yourself? Who's that kid right there? Who's that nose? Who's that kid right there? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? <laughs> we didn't talk all, period. Of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Will you go snoop with us? Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. You did say like I got no upbringing, so I'm with you on that. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. I got no upbringing. Oh, hey, other main characters. How are you? Um, Miss Satanaka. 
this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Bro. 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 See ya. Thanks. Bro. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Bro. Ah! Bro. Not the dick again. What the? I can't believe this! It's completely cracked! Oh! My trial of the dragon! I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. Twice in one day. Uh, are you alright? No, he's not alright! That boy's going through it! Oh, Yukiko-san. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. What about me? Just throw that DVD out. It's useless now. You should leave him be. This poor kid. We just keep walking away. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Oh, did I mention this game is was uh, uh, drawn by Juji Ito? Is that did I mention this? Did I no? Did I forget to mention that? That's not the case at all. <laughs> what? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school is he from? Oh, he's from the Hell School. Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so are, are you coming or not? Dude. I, I'm not going. You're a creep show. No. No one's going with you. Fine. I certainly won't bring this back. In terrible ways. Well, what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. Next he's gonna go on the internet and write a big post about how he's a nice guy and how girls only want to date the top 5% of men and he doesn't have a high value something or other. And next thing he's gonna start watching very problematic videos on YouTube and then eventually end up arrested for something stupid. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's how that happens. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turn down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. <sighs> I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. <laughs> That'll teach me to get my hopes up. I'm gonna go run my balls into something now. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go! Everyone's staring. These kids have no chill. None. Every single one of them is like, <gasps> Welcome to Gossip High. Oh. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Kasagami. <coughs> I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. 
No way. It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. You know all those Instagram photos? Where it's like the girl, and she's in the hot tub, but for some reason her, the towel is only like one little square? And that, that's what we do! The whole town runs off of that. It's an industry. I don't think that's entirely true. I don't know. We make a lot of money here on that. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? What do you... Hmm. Every guy's trying to, trying to like, get in with her. So what if I'm like... Hard to say. It's hard to say. Hmm. It's hard to say. You want me to say, I think so, yeah? Don't neg her. <laughs> I'm just reading the room. Every man in the city is trying to get with her. So, if I don't do that, then I have a better chance of, of like, you know, getting to see the end. Saying the Twitch meta. Oh, if I hate it. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Or just make her cry. I don't know her. We just met. It's hard to say. We just met. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot right in front of her. Come on. Don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. W wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. I need everyone to know, in our office... Um, one of my lovely team, Kendra, sounds exactly like Chie. I forgot her voice. They sound the exact same. Oh my hey, god. what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? We were curious. I clear out of here before you get in our way. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <coughs> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I've seen way worse dead bodies. I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. Alright then, we're taking off. 
Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. That's what I was already doing. That's what I was already doing. The two of them left. You decide to head away from the crime scene. Did I, though? be a great reminder to click the link for Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden available right now on all the things on all the updated brand new cons consoles get on it you must be a student of Yasugami High you should head straight home I keep hearing the police sirens today. I'm not used to all that noise. It's really unsettling. So I just called my husband, come pick us up. You must be a student, get the hell out of here. Don't go to the department store. I played five, five is fun. I like four better. But five does have school teacher waifu and that's pretty good. You don't want to be down here, but you can save your game and that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, there's a bit of ruckus. There's a lot of police officers. What's going on? Huh? A crime? Really? Yay, an emergency now. I don't have to go back to work. Oh, I've been hearing sirens all day. I was getting such great sleep, but they woke me up. Yeah. Acting. Call me. Call me animators. Animators. I don't think I don't think that's how it works, but call me animators. Housewife in farming clothes. And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner tonight too. What now? Oh, that's no problem here. You can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden. As long as they have some unused land to work with. You take that spot next to the Jojima place, for example. That's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? They start a home garden too? Does that mean I can look forward to them sharing vegetables they grow? <laughs> I mean, this spot right here? How about that? Make a great home garden. She looked directly at camera. I wonder like, Here if we go Dad's again. not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The school zone is being shown on TV. 
Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, oh! a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. Oh! Well, well, plot twist city. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> the, the, the Inaba Police Department, that's where Dad works. <sighs> I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. <laughs> the emotional change. I know. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. It almost seems like because she was on TV. Could it be they're related in some creepy yet spectacular way? With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. You notice no suicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Do you see that boy? Do you see that boy right there? Do you see that? <laughs> it seems the local TV station's announcer is found dead near the Yasogami High School campus. That frog is out of control. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano, her affair with local councilman secretary, had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <laughs> Oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. And theme song. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Nanako is looking at you expecting. I'm gonna sing it. I'm gonna sing it. Your Juness. You memorized it already. <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. I said it's like me with one eight seven seven cars for or or eight seven seven cash now. That's eight seven seven cash now. Or Salino and Barnes injury attorneys. I got I got them all. I got them all. I got them all. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems she's forgotten all about the scary story. When's Dad coming home? You should leave her alone. Dad, I mean, yeah. Can I eat more rice? I just want to eat rice and nothing catches my eye. Story of my life. Got to save frequently when you play a JRPG. <coughs> it's Wednesday the 13th. He did it again. Someone. Someone help this poor kid. Someone help him. Maybe you should help him. You saved me. Thanks. Um. Who's vo what a crazy voice. Whose voice could this be? Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Jesse Cox. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Yuri seems to be all right. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. <laughs> oh crap, we're late. My balls hurt. You oh. want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Yes, very much. I would love a ride. Oh. 
Be quiet, you idiots! You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that, that are curious about the murder. Got it? I'll get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. So, you getting used to this place? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was fast. I'm very I'm a fast learner. And there isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? What is that? Water steaks? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Oh, yeah. What about me, huh? No apologies? Girl, you trying to get on this water steak situation? My trial of the dragon? <sighs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad at Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? We got steak at Junis? Hell yeah, we this did. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Ah. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up, and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. It's a Whataburger... ...shake, I guess, is what that looks like? Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. But also cheers, because I'm part of the team. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing and... Ooh, uh... Too real. You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> you can. Actually, it's our fault. We chose the convenience over going to mom and pop shops and thus we shut them all down. Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Oh, who's that? Who is that? That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh. Madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here?
Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Nah, he's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Cool. Cool, bro. You're in there. You're in there, buddy. This won't be an entire game of you just swinging and missing over and over again. This will be totally fine. He'll be okay. We'll all be okay. This man is gonna... This, this guy got this. Oh. You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? I have. You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. Good night, everybody. Good night. And they say that person's your soulmate. Good night, everybody. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow, I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't that joke laugh. about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. Bye, everybody. Bye. <sighs> Another dinner alone with Nanako. Yeah. Oh, he's home. <sighs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. My life, You're late again. father. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. There's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the council. When she was alive, she was doing things, and now she's dead. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? 
The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? The female student's face and voice are indistinct. But you feel like you've seen her somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yuri's senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. I don't think that's how most crimes work. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. If only there was some sort of kid in a bear suit of some sort to help solve this problem. We'll be right back after these messages. Like some kind of mascot. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Sing it! Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> no? <laughs> Jeez. Let me, let me see that TV. When I go to bed, I'll wake up, uh, wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Monaco's still watching TV. Dojima's sleeping. You should leave him alone. I should leave everyone alone is the lesson I'm learning. Fridge? Nothing catches my eye. Of course it doesn't. But a save will. Noise. Meow. The rain falls into the night. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. Check it out in my room. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. It's after midnight. Wait, it's almost midnight. The rain is falling outside everywhere. And on TV. Is the soulmate that you see behind the statue? Yeah. I can do this all night. Uh, your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could uh, I keep wanting to say Che? I know that's not her name. I know that's not her name, but I'm I'm too I'm a too damn American. Too damn American for this. Hey, Ryan! Thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. Oh, there can be only one. What? They're attacking us! Chie. Chie, Chie. I need everyone to fight back with the swords, with the power of tentacles. Get a wolf. Get them. You can't win. You've lost. The power of tentacles is undefeatable. We are like Hydra. Sword may slice one tentacle, but sword no slice all tentacle. 
Sword Slice one, maybe two tentacle, but all tentacle? No. No all tentacle. Could GA's story be true? Could it? I don't know. You know, it must be when we get a scene. Get ungoofed. Get ungoofed. Get ungoofed. Get ungoofed. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. It's after midnight. It's after midnight. The power went out. Crandor just raided. You shouldn't go back to that TV. Don't do it. Don't do it. Reverse Ringood! Hey, Crendor. Hey, everyone. I'm getting sucked into a TV right now. Persona 4, baby. Golden, out Are right you okay? now. No, I'm being sucked into a TV, Nanako. I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. <laughs> good night, Nanako. You have to. Re you have to take care of me tomorrow. You have to raise me, kid mom. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What just happened? We decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Hey guys, did you last night, uh, when we all agreed to uh, enter the TV world to find our love. Sorry. Perfect timing, sorry, move over. G.A. forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they use an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and uh, I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. By the way, did you see it? I did. Ah, oh, do tell, but the person it showed... Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're going to be late for school. <laughs> Slow walk in. We're going to be late. Uh, um. Uh, it's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and, and run the rest of the way. Let's race. Huh? We're going to run through the rain? I'm wild like that. What's the point in that? Besides, it's not like I want to make a break for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Am I worrying you too much? Yeah, I'll keep going with you anyway. Come on. All right, let's go. I'm known for my, uh... Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Sofu. Sofuye? Sofu, Sofuye. And I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items. And there's nothing quite like a romance. What? In fact, world history is magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and since this is my first lecture, I'll share with an. E I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Cox, please stand up. 
they don't know that I... The Western calendar is based on Anno Domina, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? Negative 1 AD, 1 BC. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. If you would think that history is like math, zero would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made well. there was no concept of the zero as a number. That's why, when counting backwards, you go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully, that was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct answer. Hell yeah, I did. My knowledge increased. I didn't go to college for nothing. Actually, most of what I learned in college, I do not use What's on a daily basis. What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Although, I do use it often to solve crimes and answer questions in video games. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? That's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y yo Um... It's, a, uh, It's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai's supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today, either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Yeah, and wasn't there a rumor about that woman staying at the inn? That seems... conflicting. Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? Yeah, why would that be? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see... It last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. What do you think it means? Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey... I think that's the same person I saw. That's the same person I saw, too. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it, too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? We are about to be a thruple. Or quadruple. Quadruple? You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? I touched the TV and almost got sucked in. Last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. Nope. That'd be one interesting dream, though. Hold on. Hold on, chat. We are not Polly. We're a committed, loving quadruple. No one else is allowed in our relationship. We all, it's the four of us, together. Okay? I didn't misspeak. We're an exclusive foursome, a quadruple who loves each other. Well, we're a thruple who is in love with a fourth person that doesn't know it yet. So I guess that means we're polyamorous. You're right. You're right. You're right. Technically, if they don't know that they're part of this, and we're still looking for that other person, then, I mean, yeah, all right. I mean, you know. Where you got stuck because your TV was too small? <laughs> That's pretty realistic. Why you guys, why you gotta mean like if that? If it had been bigger. Why you gotta be mean like that? Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. All people have to know about it to be a quad thruple. Yeah, I mean, look, look, we would proudly say it. We're not hiding it. 
we're all together in 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 a, like a crime fighting. Is it, we're we're very we're very mystery machine Scooby gang. All right, you know all four of them's was getting it on. Lots of drugs. That's why the dog talked. Makes perfect sense to me. Want to go check him out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. What the? Dude, you let this girl make fun of you all the time. Bro. 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 She kicked you in the nuts, my dude. Bro. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decide to go to Juness with the others. Electronics department at Juness. Whoa! Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. What if we came at midnight? To this department store. Nope. Can't get in. We know Figures. the guy who, who owns it. Or not owns it. Manages it. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. Why would you give the newest model? There's older ones right back there. What? That's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. In my family, we consider this cheap. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up. No, I can't do that. You can. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. We talk about... Moo. Uh-oh! Oh, yeah. What kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no. Come on, gang. Get sucked You've in with me. You've got to be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh, man. This is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Do it! Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean, inside? What do you mean, empty space? It seems very spacious in here. What do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you going to pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Bro. One failure after another. Shit! Customers! They're coming! What? But we've got a guy half stuck in 
the TV here! What are we gonna do? Whoa! Inside, Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Uh... <laughs> VR. It's VR, dude. Welcome to the future. So, uh, we're still alive, right? Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> uh, of course it is. Whoa. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. I wet the entire screen. Everything's yellow. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Welcome to the metaverse. Uh, no, he wouldn't be that. He wouldn't be that dramatic. He'd be like, welcome to the metaverse. My name's Mark Zuckerberg. I created this place for you, my children, to experience the next level of virtual reality. It's amazing. Huh? But, but, look, we need to get home and... How do we get home? Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? We're doomed. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Solid, solid. That's true, yep. but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. This should be fine. This should be just fine. Whoa! Some sort of phantom thief! What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. Looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but... It seems there's no choice for now but to continue forward, onward, even. Looks like a sequel's color scheme up ahead. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Oh, this room seems lovely and not at all terrible. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? It's a dead end. There's no exit. Oh, there's a way out. You can't see this because my face is in the way, but there's a way out. The 
keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer! My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke, what are you doing? I'm peeing in this blood room! I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! I'm gonna pee all over these posters where the face was ripped off! You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Turn around, I can't go if everyone's watching. You're in the center of the room, dude. Uh, I can't do <coughs> it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Zoom, zoom. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Hmm. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Like some sort of singer. Who cares? That may be plot Let's relevant. Go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. No. No! No! What up, Ted? What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? It's Teddy! What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! W what are you? You want to fight? D don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. It would be better if you ask him nicely. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Oh, you scared Teddy. I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit! Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? It's Teddy's world, we just fall into it. Okay, now go, go, get out of here, I'm a busy bear! What's going on now? Whoa! Hey! What are you doing? S stop Shoving pushing! Shoving you through a TV, duh! Murder? Whee! It's always fun. It's always trippy. Love it. Big fan. Huh? Is this... Did we make it back? 
Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. I had to pee, I forgot. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Whoa! Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. But isn't she involved in that weird three-way relationship, that love triangle? Where one of them ended up dead? She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. What? What? Hey, so does that mean... What? That weird room we saw. Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? No. That was the bathroom for peeing. Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. No, that's you pull that and it flushes the toilet. You're overthinking. Yeah, it. stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Yeah, don't spoil if you've never played the game before, or if you have played it specifically. Don't spoil it for people who haven't. This game's great. Don't ruin anything. If anything, what you should be doing right now is clicking the link and going to pick it up yourself. Available now on all modern consoles and on Steam, which is where I'm playing it, with my with my Xbox controller on my PC. So jump in. Persona 3 Portable is available. I'm, you know what? I don't remember the last time I played Persona 3. I don't remember when that game came out. Like 20, 2007? When the hell did that game come out? I don't remember when that game came out. Yeah, man. I don't remember when that came out. 2009. Feels like a long... 2009 is just as long. 2009 is still in the before Jesse even did YouTube times. Same with this. For me, this was a, a this was like while I was still teaching. No, no, that's a lie. This would have been right after. This would have been right after. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Yeah. To, uh, my last year of teaching was. 2010, the end of 2010. And then I moved in with my parents in 2011. By the way, remember that? Remember that being an adult and then having to move home to your parents? That happened to me. So never, ever, ever get stressed out about that. If you have parents that are kind enough to take your ass back in, I was a teacher. I was on my own. Then I had to sell everything I owned and move back with my parents for a year. But then, a year later, I moved to L.A. Look at that. Look at it. Look at look at look at us. Look at what we got. Hey, welcome home. You still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Nah, nothing. Ooh, I didn't even know that. She discovered the body. She wasn't... Uh, maybe I'll say this. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but... She hasn't been found yet. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba.
Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown, but the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Amagi Inn? Isn't that the inn that is major plot point in Yukiko's family? She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. Remember when I was joking about the hot springs were like the little tiny cloth, the booby cloth? Remember? That's exactly what it is. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Stop it. Uh, I see. Stop it. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn. Right, we know this. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, uh, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> Let it get real cold. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. No food for you. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today, so you should go to sleep early or you'll catch a cold. Roasted. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. You're telling me. I still got a cough. I had a cold two weeks ago. Although it's not spring. You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. Yeah. Look, Na Nanako is a beast. She's holding this whole operation together. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Nanako looks worried. You should be! People be dying! You can hear the girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? That's the Cox and Crendor motto. Keep your eyes and ears open. Get some good stories for content. These girls don't know anything about content yet. It's before that time. You hear sirens nearby. It seems there's been an incident. You decide to head to school. It's not my business. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You ever hear people gossiping about something? Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey. What's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. I will never, ever pronounce Yosuke correctly in a million years. It looks like it says Yosuke to me. Yosuke, I, look, I get it. I understand it. I'll never, I, my brain don't work like that. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Everyone, please. As the Pharaoh... <laughs> 
of this school, I'd like to introduce you to your new professor of the dark arts, Dumbledore. First, the principal has something to say. Oh, Principal Dumbledore. My bad. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. Harry Potter's name has been put into the Goblet of Fire. One of our third-year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <laughs> the principal's address continues. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying People who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? Sorry, I was listening to the music, what? So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, and it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai too. Yosuke, don't tell me. We're going back in, baby! Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I wanna find out for myself. Hell yes. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... No, this guy is taking one too many shots to the balls. He's fine. He's hardened. You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. 
if I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Love Juness. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels, but we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Are you serious? Hell yes. Serious is a shot to Yosuke's to balls. Jeunesse. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Yep. As serious as uh, Would I like to save my progress? Yes. Looking good, dude. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell I yeah. It might be better than going in empty handed. Let's go. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey! I said wait! Sorry, we. We. Us boys gotta go in the TV, okay? Okay? same place as last time so they are connected from place to place you guys why'd you come back oh Teddy I get it you're the ones behind this you're that thing from last time wait what the hell did you just say lately I can tell someone's been throwing people in here it's making this world more and more messed up this is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Don't label us like that, bro. What are you talking about, throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? I can't say for sure either. But doesn't it bug you how this bear keeps saying someone's been throwing people in here? Just 
talk to T Teddy's right there. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... Li what? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Shut up! Doesn't work that way. See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? Well, if you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying you might be the culprits. I'm just making sure. I mean, you gotta make sure. Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh... I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Midnight Sumo, thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. You can't, it's zipped up. Whoa. Hell are you? It, it's empty inside. How dare you take off Teddy's Me? head? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. That's what I was saying. Persona 4 is so good. But, I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... Uh... <laughs> what are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. The culprit isn't you. He wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? 
Remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. I don't remember that part. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What about the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of the promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Jesse Cox. You got a name? Teddy! Teddy! <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are these glasses for? Looking cool. Glasses are cool. As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. I know a golf club can hurt we a person. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. All right. How's that sound? Great. Can Teddy really not fight? I don't know. I've played uh, the arena. I have a feeling uh, Teddy can fight. Teddy's my main. I go hard on Teddy. Try touching Teddy. No! Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. Oh, Ted. Oh, we Ted. We're to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get. Oh, Tedward. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? Your mane looks weak. <laughs> Teddy's strong. That doesn't matter right now. Where it counts. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Jesse. What? Wait! I did just push Teddy down. The least I can do is. This should be fine. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Let's go! I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! 
I had a feeling they were going to attack. Huh? Uh, uh. Oh, hey! What's going on? Where's the few kids having a good creepy time? My glasses did that thing. That thing. Go Cubs. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. To golf clubs. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. Okay. And to other attacks, the thing that weakness does more damage. You'll get a one more attack. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get one more attack. Get the advantage of battle. However, if the enemy attack your weakness, they'll get extra attack too. So always keep your enemy's weakness in your own in mind. Yikes! This is one tough enemy! of what attacks have what effects on enemies. You can check known information about the enemy in the analysis command button. Don't give up! It's weak. Weak to lightning? Can I just attack him on the ground and not... I got licked! about the surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Congratulations, Sensei! Your HP and SP have increased. You are now able to create personas up to level 2. Hey, dude. Thou are you, you am thou. Mr. Thou, they call me. Jesse Cox has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardship. The persona is Anaki. Whoa, what was that? It was Mr. Thou. Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? No. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? 
Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. Oh, you. Stop. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? <laughs> and that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Easy. Now let's get back to the investigation. We'll be super fine. Let's go inside this incredibly Man. distressing portal. What could have happened to Senpai here? Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? Uh, whose voice is that? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Let's go! What the hell? That dude sounds like Spider-Man. I know, crazy! Damn it, not again. You begin to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this... Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places! Thank you, Scarecrow. That was very nice of you. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos... Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Yusuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dip. Leave this boy alone. This is... There's another 60 hours of this. This poor kid. This poor kid. Pain in the ass? They introduce him with a dick shot and that's the rest of the game for this boy. Dick Who shots. cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Well, you can tell he's not the real one because he has confidence. Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness too. You're sick of everything. 
Especially living out in the sticks? What are you saying? Th that's not true, I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe... I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because... I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? A world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! I'm sweet on many people! Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Can't crush me, I have. Uh oh, never mind. Crushed, instantly crushed. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. Yeah, no, I'll guard. Don't worry. on it. Ha! Huh, 
That's it. Boring. Out of the way. I'm weak. The wind. Persona. Smoke, dum dum. Don't Damn, have the golf club. Here comes an attack. I really Defend should persona, yourself. but instead I'm going to. I want to use you. Oh, I have burps. Oh, I have burps. Get smoked, dum dum. Donk. Don't underestimate me. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. What a freaking pain in the ass. Get out of my way. Out of the way. All right, in theory, yeah, this guy's pretty beat up. Um. Will that kill him, though? Persona! Just end him. Oh, no! Bro, not like this. Can I? Do I even attempt it? No, I'll wait. Frog fractions, bitch. Nice. 100 whole XP. You felt a surge of energy inside after the recent battle. Amazing, Sensei. Your HP and SP have increased. You're now able to create personas up to level 3. Something inside of you has changed. Whoa, that's a level up. Nice. 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 Yosuke, are you okay? Dude, there's plenty of drinks in here. And no one's gonna tell us teens not to drink that TV booze. Yeah. What happened? You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Myself. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Oh, shit. Boy got a persona. This guy has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona. Jiri, jiri. 
Yeah. This is my persona. My little frog boy. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. Don't worry, you've been embarrassing you the entire here. time. I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Jesse. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. It'd be like that. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> they didn't look for weaknesses. Yosuke's pretty worn out. Or have SP potions. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Or a golf club. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Except themselves. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Great question, Teddy! You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? That's just Teddy! No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Really? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. What, what could it be? I'll be waiting for you guys here. Right. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. Where will I end up? You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. 
then you'd be doomed. Well, that sells it. Got it? Got it. Well, pretty much. I said got it. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. T -t -t TVs. <laughs> Doomed. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Just go. Just go. At this point. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> Squish. Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little. Ugh. Meanwhile, our panicking friend on the outside. You know what? You weren't hitting the balls that time. That's an improvement. I, I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Your fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> now that I've mastered myself. Well, see you in the morning. Near the floodplain while walking home from Junez. Oh, hey there. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Everything okay? You weren't school. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you getting used to your new town in school? I love it here. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> She's a real handful, that one. I see. She's always full of energy. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> Evening. Dad's late. Yeah, you'd be like that. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. In our news channel, kids reading the news. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. Don't go into the TV at midnight! The went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Hell yeah. 
Anako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, I know. located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko's on TV wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Crazy! Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. All Excuse these me? news people are, like, super horny for her. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Dude, you're on the you're on the evening news. Huh? No. Um. The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Uh, Nanako. Nanako, I don't know when you became the most mature person in this game, but probably from moment one. Probably from moment one. Oh. I need to do the dishes. Kid is a baby child. She's like, I'm over this born shit. 